Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll see uh, one more interview question. So, what's the difference between uh, Informatica and Informatica Cloud? Okay. So last time uh, I have explained uh, what's the difference between Informatica and uh, Informatica Data Quality. So similar way. Now we'll see what's the difference between Informatica and Informatica Cloud. So as everyone knows that, so Informatica is on the store and Informatica Cloud is a cloud-based tool, okay? And uh, that is the first difference. And second thing is, so if you want to set up that uh, Informatica Power Center, so it will take a lot of time, as everyone knows that, because we have to uh, set up the infrastructure, right? So suppose, see, if you want to uh, install this Informatica, we need a server, we need a client, and also uh, we need a database services, Suppose if you're using as a Unix operating system, Unix uh, setup also required. There are many services required. And also it will take a lot of time to set up all these services, right? Because there will be DB team, there will be Unix team, there will be uh, ETL administrator. So there are many teams involvement is required. And the setup of this Informatica Power Center will take a lot of time. So it will not be available, available immediately. But coming to the Informatica Cloud, uh, it will uh, it don't have any software to install like I mean to, I mean we can say that so it's just like uh, you have to uh, get the username and password so once you get the username and password so once you can uh, connect to that Informatica cloud environment so you can start working on that so only thing is the security agent we need to install that is acts like a so so it won't take much and just like a small file we need to install it. Okay, so here a lot of teams involved and it will take a lot of time. It's a time consumption process, but coming to this Informatica cloud, it's like very simple. It will, like we can start immediately once uh, we get the username and password by using a URL, we can connect to the cloud services. Okay, uh, third one here is maintenance from our end. Okay, suppose, if any maintenance is required, suppose let's see, that I said right, there are many teams involved into this Informatica, like Unix uh, and database and ET administrator, Steam, all those things. So if uh, maintenance is from our end, so what Informatica exactly does? So Informatica, uh, just they will give a license. So the rest of the things we have to set up from our end. So maintenance from our end, we have to take care for all the services. But coming to the Informatica Cloud, so Informatica will take care of the maintenance part. So we don't need to worry about that. Fourth turn is system dependent. So as everyone knows that, so we can use this particular you know, power center on particular machine because we have to install there. We need to install the client. Uh, well, then only we can access that uh, designer uh workflow manager monitor all these components so it should be it's like a system dependent so uh, we install this in informatica in some static system right so suppose let's see i have my personal laptop and i have a office laptop so where so we can access only in that particular office laptop let's see i can say system dependent so it's it's like it's depending on the particular system where we install that particular system only we can access it. But coming to that Informatica cloud is not like that. So we have a URL. So that URL you can use anywhere. Wherever you have a laptop, suppose you are going home. So you, you don't have an office laptop. Yeah, you can connect your personal laptop over there. So wherever you have internet, I can say that, wherever, not laptop, wherever you have internet. So there you can open this uh, URL and you can provide your username and password. and you can connect to the Informatica cloud. But Informatica power center is not like that. So it's just like a system dependent. I mean, to say that like a, some static system, we, we just install that wherever we install, only that particular machine, we can connect it. And also, uh, I mean, I will say that wherever that internet is available, you can connect to the Informatica cloud by just providing username and password. So you can open that. So you can modify whatever you want. So, but Informatica, that is not possible, just like system dependent. Fifth one, limited connectors we have. So, the, this is the main thing. So, limited connectors we have in the Informatica. 
So what is maybe a connector? Suppose see, if you want to connect to some application from there, you want to extract the data. For example, if we have a, a Salesforce and we have a Snowflake and we have a AWS. So like we have a different uh, applications you can connect from there, you can extract the data that is easy in Informatica Cloud because we have a direct connectors which is available. So we no need to aware, I mean, we don't need to worry about that connectors. It is directly available. So we can use that. So directly we can extract the data from uh, those cloud providers or some applications. Okay. For example, Snowflake. Snowflake, if you write, if you, uh, you know, the Snowflake is the cloud where data warehouse. From there you want to extract the data. But if it is in Informatica Power Center, it is very difficult to have to uh, I mean, add those uh, connectors and it will take a lot of time and to set up all this stuff. But coming to Informatica Cloud, right, is already pre I mean, pre-available. I can say the predefined uh, services will be there. So directly, whatever you want, you, ha you have to add those add-on connectors and uh, to get a license for that, you can use it. It's just like ready-made things available in Informatica Cloud, so which will save a lot of time. So whenever you want to cloud, uh, connect or extract data from, from uh, some cloud providers, it's very easy. So that is what the, uh, about the connectors. That is like a more options available in Informatica Cloud. And also it is like very easy to access or easy to add to the particular cloud environment. But coming to the power centers on premises, right, to add this or extract the data from the cloud providers, it will be a little difficult and it will take a lot, lot of time to set up. Sixth one is expensive. Yeah, Informatica Power Center is expensive. There are many services in Informatica, right? So even though you are not using those services, so you have to pay for that. So you have to get a license, right? So absolutely it will be expensive. So even though you are not using some service, absolutely you have to take it because we have to take a license, like a complete suit. It's not based on the particular service, but coming to Informatica Cloud, it's just like a, we can avail the services, whatever you want, you can pay for that. So you can reduce the project cost. So it's like a compare with power center, Informatica cloud is like less expensive. And the major thing here is like, a, if you want to add any service, if you want to introduce some new functionality Informatica power center, we need a downtime. Okay. So we need a downtime. So once that work is done, suppose they want to update or they want to migrate to some other version or they want to add some fun new functionalities, that time Informatica will not be available. So that means there should be some downtime to avail the new services or new options or new uh, add-ons, whatever they added. But coming to the Informatica cloud, it's not required. So in the background, it will take, they will, I mean, Informatica will take care of the, uh, all the new functionalities. Whenever you log in next time, it will be available in the uh, window. So that is what the uh, major differences uh, between the Informatica and Informatica Cloud. There are many, but I just take it only a few. So if anyone asks me, you can you explain the difference between Informatica and Informatica Cloud. At least in that, at least three, four, you can explain. So that will be uh, okay. So that's all for today. Next session, we'll see with a different topic. Thanks. Everyone.